Hi, boys and girls, it's time for another story. Tonight, I'm going to read you The Very Noisy Night, and it's by the author Diana Hendry. I wonder if you've ever had a noisy night where you just couldn't sleep because there were all these noises around. It was the middle of the night and Big Mouse was fast asleep in his bed. Little Mouse was wide awake in his little bed. Big Mouse, Big Mouse, Little Mouse called. I can hear something rushing around the house, huffing and puffing. Big Mouse opened one eye and one ear. It's only the wind, he said. Can I come into your bed? asked Little Mouse. No, said Big Mouse. There isn't room. And he turned over and went back to sleep. Little Mouse lay listening to the wind and then suddenly between a huff and a puff came a tap, 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 tap. Little Mouse climbed out of bed and opened the front door just a crack peeped out. Whoosh went the wind, but there was no one outside. Big Mouse, Big Mouse, called Little Mouse. I can hear someone tap tapping. <gasps> Maybe it's a burglar on the roof. Big Mouse got out of bed and opened the bedroom curtains. Look, he said. It's only a branch tapping on the window. Now go back to sleep. Can I come into your bed? asked Little Mouse. No, said Big Mouse. You wriggle. Little Mouse lay in his bed and he listened to the wind tapping and puffing and the branch tap tapping and someone calling. Little Mouse climbed out of bed again. This time he looked underneath it and then he looked in the wardrobe and feeling very frightened, he cried, Big Mouse, Big Mouse, I think there's a ghost in the house and it's looking for me. It keeps on calling, who, 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 who. Big Mouse sighed, <sighs> sat up and he listened. It's only an owl, he said. It's awake like you. Can I come into your bed? asked Little Mouse. No, said Big Mouse. Your paws are always cold. And Big Mouse pulled the blanket over his head and went back to sleep. Little Mouse got back into his own bed. And he lay and he listened to the wind huffing and puffing and the branch tap tapping and the owl hooting. But shh, what was that? Big Mouse, Big Mouse, he called. I think it's raining inside. And Little Mouse jumped out of bed and fetched his red umbrella because he could hear drip, 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 drip. Big Mouse got out of bed too. He opened the front door. Be quiet, wind, he said. Be quiet, branch. Be quiet, owl. But they took no notice. Then Big Mouse went into the kitchen. He turned off the dripping tap and put away the umbrella. Can I come into your bed? asked Little Mouse. No, you are nice and snug in your own bed, said Big Mouse, taking him back to the bedroom. Little Mouse lay and he listened to the wind huffing and puffing and the branch tap tapping and the owl hooting. And just as he was beginning to feel very sleepy indeed, he heard... Wearily, Big Mouse got up. He put his earmuffs on. 
Uh, sorry, he put his earmuffs on Little Mouse's ears. He put a paper clip on his own nose and he went back to bed. Poor Big Mouse just wants to sleep. <clears throat> Little Mouse lay and he listened to nothing. It was very, very, very quiet. He couldn't hear the wind huffing or, or the branch tapping or the owl hooting or Big Mouse snoring. It was so quiet that Little Mouse felt he was all alone in the world. He took off the earmuffs. He got out of bed and he pulled the paper clip off Big Mouse's nose. Big Mouse, Big Mouse, he cried. I'm lonely. Big Mouse flung black his, back his blanket. You'd better come into my bed, he said. So Little Mouse hopped in and his paws were cold and he needed just a little wriggle before he fell fast asleep. Big Mouse lay and he listened to the wind huffing and puffing and the branch tap tapping and the owl hooting and Little Mouse snuffling. And very soon he heard the birds waking up. But neither of them heard the alarm clock because they were both fast asleep. And I hope you sleep nice and tight in your beds and get to sleep fast asleep with nothing waking you up and worrying you. Good night, everybody.